It's time now for the Business of Health, brought to you by Hendricks Regional Health. Well, the senior population in the U.S. is growing at an unprecedented rate. The U.S. Census Bureau says the number of people over the age of 65 has grown from 35 million in 2000 to nearly 50 million today. And as people live longer, healthier lives, the way they spend those golden years is changing as well. It's driving business for a company in Indiana that focuses on non-medical home care. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has more Kylie. Thank you, Gary. Aging in place is the desire of many seniors. It refers to a person living where they want for as long as they're able as they age. And for most, that means staying in their home. But the trend doesn't come without its challenges as services try to keep pace with the growing demand. First Light Home Care is a Cincinnati-based franchise with about half a dozen Indiana locations. Owner Michelle Alex joins me now to talk about this increasing trend of aging in place. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So you own the franchise in Valparaiso in Northwest Indiana. And yes. before we talk about some of those trends that your company is seeing, mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit first about this unique niche uh, that your company fills okay. of non-medical home okay. care. Well, a as was mentioned, I mean, it's growing rapidly that there's a need for non-medical. And um, some of the things that our company does that kind of makes us stand apart from other companies is that we, we have a, pla a technology platform that's just amazing because it allows other families, members that live in another state or even another town to go on and just view the schedule of our, you know, the clients that we are taking care of and allowing our caregivers to enter notes after each call um, so that family members can stay connected to their loved one and make sure that they're, you know, staying healthy and safe. Um, you know, there's, we provide companion care and personal care, and the companion care is anything from light housekeeping, making meals, and just number one, keeping somebody safe. And the personal care is more your higher, higher level where somebody might need assistance getting from a wheelchair to the toilet, to the bathroom, and showers and baths. So. And you mentioned your number one uh, request is services around dementia care. Yes, absolutely. And we, we've seen that increase over the last six years. So increase where the age has dropped where it's now people, our youngest is 56, on up to 104. So um, it's definitely increasing, and the way we have been able to keep up with that increase um, is by the training, the ongoing training that we provide for dementia care. So your services help as more seniors are wanting to stay home longer. So, you know, demand is so high that you say you're struggling to find enough caregivers. Right, right. So I think when I when I think back, we have 85 caregivers currently on staff for us, and it is it is a challenge to to find the caregivers. However, I think it's just making us be more creative on where we find them. So more, more we're looking at churches. So there's people that want to help in churches, so they want to come aboard and we hire them. There's seniors that are in senior centers that are actually, they're out doing things, so why not hire them to go and be a companion to seniors in the community? So um, I think it's just trying to be more creative on how we find the good quality caregivers. Uh, and so the first location opened in 2010. Uh, the company has seen steady growth. Mm -hmm. Forbes uh, placed it on its 2018 list of the top 10 best franchises to buy. And you're wanting to expand your franchise to Mishawaka. How do you balance, you know, your desire to expand with right. also the challenge of finding caregivers? Right. I think I, I view it as what I've done over the last six years in Valparaiso and in, in the Munster area, and that is just taking it kind of day by day in. in looking for the good quality, not overdo it by hiring the wrong people and finding just good quality people that are going to do um, the right things when they're out there taking care of people. And our culture of care with with First Light Home Care, it stems from the corporate office, is we treat our caregivers the same way we're going to treat our clients. So treating them well to retain them and therefore making them happy they'll be happy to take care of other people. And uh, First Light has locations in the greater central Indiana area, uh, your location in northwest Indiana. For, for families in other pockets of the state, mm -hmm. um, what advice would you give them uh, as they're looking for non-medical home care? Um, you know, I really think it's important that they reach out to their local resources. So if they have, if they there's a nursing home or assisted living or case managers at, at the hospital, these people can act as advocates to help them find the information they need. But they really Really want to make sure they're asking good questions. So asking the question of what kind of background checks do you do? Do you statewide or do you do you know nationwide? Do you drug test and what kind of ongoing training do they provide? 
you know, for, for their caregivers to make sure that they're, again, doing the right things when they're out there. Well, it's a very important topic, very timely right now. Uh, Michelle Alex with First Light, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Gary, back to you.